apparently, again, the video was too long. I had to upload it on Facebook because it was 30 seconds over 10 minutes. This is getting fucking ridiculous. Um, so instead, I'm just going to uh, abridge it down to why I made the video to begin with. Um, Samantha is convinced that, um, you know, if something were to ever happen to one of these moderators, I don't know, they get shot, someone gives a, a you know, runs them over and drives off and or whatever, um, the police will want to ask me questions and look at me as a high suspect, which would be funny as hell because that would be a complete waste of resources and time because I live far away and I just don't have the means available to hurt anybody, unfortunately. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be funny for me, uh, that would suck for me, but it would certainly be funny that, um, you know, they're wasting valuable time and effort all over something that is obviously untrue. Which wouldn't be the first time the police do something stupid, uh, you know. And th but this is just a what if scenario, and Samantha just thinks that I shouldn't be so harsh toward mom. You know, when I say harsh, but in reality, there there is no amount of being harsh to them. They treat me like shit. I truly am like an oppressed minority. So. You know, it's like when that's why I like Malcolm X so much. Malcolm X gets it exactly right uh, every single time. You know. Uh, you, nigger does not just mean black person anymore. Anyone can be a nigger. Uh, you know, it, it just, you know, you'll know when you're one. When you're degraded, humiliated, and around every turn you're just looked upon as the sad excuse of a half human being. And you cannot do anything in life without that haunting over your shoulder. What I wanted to get to is the fact that, um, you know, Samantha doesn't like the way I say that, you know, moderators should be burned in a fire or shot or, or stabbed, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, uh, when we celebrate Gaddafi's death or Saddam Hussein's death or Osama bin Laden's, whatever, what do these people do to us? What has Osama bin Laden ever done to me? We can say that vaguely the Taliban caused the deaths of 9-11 and I should feel bad for the victims of 9-11 even though the Taliban were t not responsible for that uh, how does that work exactly? Who was responsible for 9-11? Was it uh, the Taliban? Was it um, Ku uh, Kuwait? Uh, you know they always are changing their stories around with all these different denominations and splinter cells of the you know Arab extremists you don't even know anymore. I certainly don't um, so, so what did Osama bin Laden do exactly? What did he? Is there any even any blood on his hands, or was he just talking out of his ass, talking about how America sucks and making videos and shit? Uh, you know, if, if you ask me, he's just another YouTube troll, like amazing atheist. So, you know, so when we go to war and we kill these people in cold blood, but meanwhile. We can't kill the people that attack us personally and destroy our integrity, our pride, our peace of mind. Uh, you know, when they rape us and attack us, um, you know, we're just supposed to let that go. Or supposed to let the law handle it, and good luck with that. And, I mean, I can understand why. I'm not an idiot. Uh, you know, I know if so society could not exist if everyone could just kill each other. Uh, you know, there wouldn't be a voting block. There wouldn't be taxpayers. There wouldn't be uh, people to, you know, consume and to buy things. Uh, society would just be this unstable clusterfuck of everybody stabbing each other and shooting at each other, which would probably be better than what we have now, but it would not be convenient for the people at the top. So I know exactly why they don't let us, you know, just go out and kill people that piss us off or, you know, ruin our lives or ruin our, you know, peace of mind. But if you know that you cannot deal with your own personal demons, then at the very least, don't fight another man's battle. Don't go to war over some stupid shit for oil or for, you know, personal profiteering. It's not your fight to deal with. It's not your problem. You know, this isn't about defending America. This isn't about, you know, the victims of 9-11. These people are in it for the money. They're in it for, you know, territory and to hostily take over. 
and you know what they should have to do it themselves I hate to bring back the whole hippie, hippie expression you know they leave war to the poor but it's true they leave it to people stupid enough to go out there and to get shot at and you know to come back with all that post war stress and um and all that other bullshit and for nothing barely you don't really get paid all that much in the military and it's not heroic you're not going to come back and get laid by a bunch of bitches and you know seen as a hero and get a medal it's not like star wars that doesn't happen um and, you know, and I'm not trying to say here that, you know, uh, violence is wrong and we should all get along and hold hands, but we know violence is illegal in every instance that it would be even half justified. So why are you going to go out and commit violence in the name of your country or in the name of God or in the name of, you know, somebody else? Don't. Stop white knighting. And I'm not just saying white knighting for women. I, I use white knighting in general. You're, you're being an idiot. So, you know, that that's my model in life, you know. Uh, the likelihood of me actually being violent towards someone is minimal. I don't get that many opportunities in life to actually meet anyone I would actually be violent towards. Most people are not assholes right to my face. They might talk about me behind my back, but that's their free right to do. You know, it's a lot harder to violate my rights face to face, you know, because um, what are they going to do? They can't ban me from reality. And whatever they do to me, you know, if they hit me, I have every right to, every right to hit them back. So that's that's a moot point. Um, you know, my point is here that if you can't be violent for yourself, then don't be violent for other people. Certainly, don't be violent for other people because they ain't doing shit for you. And you know, it's not your, it's not your problem to deal with. Uh, you know, I'm repeating myself here. I, I'm just still pissed off about the whole thing and, how, you know, how mods can be sold. Such despicable people. So, I'll make another video later. See ya.